Hello everyone, welcome to Reaching for the Moon. China launched the Tiagong Space Station first module named Tianhe in 2021 and completed construction of the three module spacecraft in November of 2022 with the addition of the Wenchen and the Menchen lab modules. Since completion, the Tiagong Space Station has been occupied with a Takanak crew of three and China plans to occupy the Tiagong for the next 10 years. Crews are scheduled for a six-month missions, and recently there was a crew change. China rolled out its Shenzhou-16 spacecraft to the launch pad prior to its journey to the Tiagong space station. This is a regular six-month planned crew change. Here is a CGTN video clip of the rollout preparation. This is the first manned mission for China's Tiangong Space Station after the station entered its operational phase. While well, today's superstar, the Long March 2 FK rocket, is setting out to the launch pad. Personnel at the launch site escorted the Kara rocket and sent their best wishes to the mission. The deputy chief designer of the China Manned Space Program's Taikonaut system also shared their progress. Since our team arrived, we've completed a series of tests and loaded the materials. Now the results are normal, and we are proceeding well. Then we've prepared for the coming of the Taikonauts or astronauts. Their clothes, materials, and working environment are all in position. And there are also aerospace medical experiments on this mission. We are preparing the samples and loading them into capsule in preparation for the Shenzhou 16 mission. Now the Shenzhou 16 manned spacecraft, carried by the 16th Long March 2F rocket, has been moved to the launch pad. The flight assembly will dock with the launch system in preparation for the next stage. The hoisting and binding of the rocket was completed in the technical area, and then the test to match the subsystem was carried out. Four general inspections were run successively, and it was confirmed that the state of the rocket was very good. Today, the rocket was transported for 90 minutes from the technical area to the launch area, and next, the rocket will go through another functional check. The test to ensure it fits will take place, and the whole launch site will undergo a rehearsal. It will be refueled, and finally, the ignition will occur and then the launch. The Shenzhou 16 mission will see three Taikonauts enter the Tiangong Space Station, swapping places with the three Shenzhou 15 Taikonauts currently in the low Earth orbit. Chen Yibing, CGTN, in Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. China launched the Shenzhou 16 spacecraft on its journey to the Tiagong Space Station on May 30th, 2023. Shenzhou 16 docked with the Tiagong Space Station less than seven hours after it was launched from the Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert in northern China. The crew was greeted by the Shenzhou 15 crew, who now will be returning to Earth soon. Here's a Reuters video of the Shenzhou 16 launch. The crew will stay aboard the Tiagong Space Station for approximately five months, during which they're going to conduct scientific experiments and regular maintenance on the space station. China planned three space missions for 2023. Two have occurred already, the Shenzhou-16 launch and the cargo craft Tianzhou-6, which was launched earlier this month. China plans to launch the next crewed spaceship, Shenzhou-17, later this year. In a recent press conference, the CMSA also reiterated 
China's plan for a manned moon landing by 2030. NASA still has its Artemis III moon landing mission scheduled for no later than 2026 in its unofficial space race with China. That completes today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, then hit the subscribe button to receive an email every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching, and remember always, failure is not an option. Bye!